written free code camp JavaScript algorithms and data structures, and we are in basic JavaScript. We are in challenge 71 of 113. So today we are going to introduce else statements. Okay, so uh, when a condition for an if statement is true, a block of code, the block of code following is executed. What about when the condition is false? Normally nothing would happen, but with an else statement, an alternate block of code can be executed. So here in this example, we can see if number is greater than 10, we're gonna return bigger than 10. If this condition is not met, this code block will not execute. So then it'll hit the else and just return 10 or less. So all we're gonna do here is combine the if statements to a single is if else statement, okay? Change only above the sign. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna turn result. All right, so we're gonna just say here it says if value is greater than five, we're gonna return bigger than five, and otherwise, if value is not bigger than five, that means it has to be less than five. So we can just simply remove this if check and just say else result is five or smaller. And you can see the syntax here, our if check, condition, code block, in the curly brackets, and then the else immediately after, and then it's code block in curly brackets. And then we'll return result. That is all we had to do for this one. This is very common. You'll use these all the time in basically anything involving JavaScript, um, if else checks. So. Hope that helps. Hope to see you guys in the next video.